Today in the news, we got some NVIDIA, TSMC, AMD, and more. What's up guys, I'm Snows, and this is your boot sequence. Let's get started with NVIDIA. After the cancellation of GTC in March because of COVID, the company has finally rescheduled it and it's pretty soon. In a press release posted yesterday, the company announced that GTC will happen on May 14th. It's going to be a live event on NVIDIA's YouTube channel. Jensen Huang wants us to get amped for the latest platform breakthroughs in AI, deep learning, autonomous vehicles, robotics, and professional graphics. Get amped. If that's not a hint at what's coming, I don't know what is. So we'll probably see Ampere GPUs, although like most releases, it probably will be something like a couple of new Quadro cards and maybe a Titan. That's because those server grade GPUs are usually announced before the mainstream consumer cards. So get amped. Speaking of NVIDIA, according to a DigiTimes article, TSMC's 5 nanometer node is getting some attention from NVIDIA, and apparently they're already working on some chips. Now, before you get your hopes up, this 5 nanometer node is definitely not what will end up on Ampere GPUs. For 5 nanometers, it could be a future lineup, but some rumors point at it being used for the next generation Tegra chips. If NVIDIA keeps the release schedule they had in the last few years, that means a card that uses 5 nanometers would release in 2022. Hopefully, AMD's advanced node for Navi 3X will also be on that same 5 nanometer node. On the subject of manufacturing process, TSMC is far from ready to call it quits. In fact, according to an investor meeting reported by DigiTimes, the company has just started exploratory studies and R&D for development of a 2 nanometer node. At 2 nanometers, it's going to take a hell of a lot of R&D. The company is planning to still use FinFET technology for nodes under 5 nanometers, which is already really impressive. But at 2 nanometers, a brand new transistor design will probably be required. Moving on to some AMD news, we just got some details on their next gen APUs. According to the leaker extraordinaire Rogue Game, the successor to Renoir will be Cezanne. Another gen, another painter. The name isn't the only thing we got through Rogue Game though. This APU should be based on the Zen 3 architecture, which apparently has a significant CPU performance uplift over Renoir. And according to the leak, will sport second generation RDNA or RDNA 2. This is kind of surprising given we haven't even seen first gen RDNA on an APU so far. According to previous Rogue Game leak, the 4000 series of AMD APUs will still be using Vega graphics, or at least this low power CPU leaked a few days back will. In Microsoft news, it looks like their update is busting up computers again. The latest Windows 10 update, which introduces several security fixes, has been deleting files and causing BSODs. While some of the users are experiencing random crashes, with the most common being these errors, some users are getting BSOD loops, meaning the PC insta crashes at startup. This is the April 14th update, so if you see it queued up, I would recommend you do everything you can to avoid it until it's safe or at least back up your OS as soon as possible. Moving on to some storage news, it looks like companies are starting to come clean. So, in the last week or so, it was found that some hard drive companies like Western Digital, Seagate, and Toshiba, so pretty much all of the hardware companies, were selling some of their drive models with inferior shingled magnetic recording tech, while larger capacity drives are sold with superior CMR tech. Basically, on a fresh platter, the speeds of the drives are just fine, but when new data needs to be placed close to or overwrite existing data, the speed plummets. In a NAS scenario, this doesn't only affect speed, it can cause the drives to behave erratically in a RAID array or simply not work when added to a new array. Anyways, the companies in question are starting to come clean and identify the drives that use SMR versus CMR. If you want to buy a new hard drive, I'd suggest you take the time to find one with CMR. Moving on, it's time for the weekly game check. Right now on the Epic Store, you can get For the King for free. It's a turn-based strategy game if you're into that sort of thing. But what's more interesting is the next week's free games. You'll be able to get Amnesia, The Dark Descent, a game that needs no description and that I plan on playing while wearing a diaper. And lastly, there's Crashlands, a battle slash quest game with crafting elements. Those two last games will be available starting on the 30th. 
Anyways, guys, that's pretty much it for the news today. Hopefully you've enjoyed. Drop a like if you liked it, a comment if you want to talk about today's stories. As usual, you can click right here to see the latest video right here. Subscribe to the channel. My rib just hurt me. Don't forget to stay frosty, my dudes, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care. I thought it got better, but then it got worse.